replace it with Disney Channel and Adventures through high school. Do I understand it? No. What's up everyone, it's your boy FlowsMG back with another episode of Tear Up. This time we are ranking Disney Channel shows. If you don't know what the Disney Channel is, oh, I feel sorry for you. Either way, I don't need to explain what this is. Let's just get right into it, shall we? Before this video starts, I just want to say that only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you like this video and want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything and you can always change your mind in the future. Now back to the video. The rankings for this video are as follows. God tier, Walt worthy, watchable, meh, and cancelled. First off, we're starting off with Ant Farm. Ant standing for Advanced Natural Talents. All these really gifted kids go into this high school program for, well, really gifted kids. And basically it just tells the adventures of these youngins throughout high school. Which I don't even know if it's technically a high school considering they're too young to go to actual high school and they're only in because of this program. I don't know, it's too confusing. But I don't think with this show there was ever like a really solid story per se. But it was good and for for some time it did have me wrapped into it a little bit. So I think I'm gonna go on and put it in watchable. I'm not gonna say a wall worthy. Next up we have a really good show that I Hold a personal connection to, mainly because it's appreciation of music. We have Austin and Allie. Basically, follows the adventures about this team of friends who try to make this main character Austin Moon a huge superstar sensation. Allie, songwriter, Trish, manager, Des. Yes, there is a character called Des. Des, director. Basically, they go through many adventures to make this man a superstar. Does it work? Watch it and find out. I I loved this show. And you know what? Screw it. It's a god tier show to me. Next up we have a quote unquote newer show. We have Dog with a Blog. This show mainly centers around a dog who has a blog. Self-explanatory really. But my point being is that this dog got adopted into this new family. And the the kids find out that he can talk. But they can't let anyone else know or else he will be taken away. And we do not want that to happen. No, we don't. Because that would be bad. That would be very, very bad. Basically, it's the adventures of the kids and this dog. And the dog more, more so... Stan! I should mention that the dog's name is Stan. What he does is he... Well, he... Pretty much blogs about the adventures they do. I have no better way to explain it than that. I like this show. I wa it was it caught me it caught me a bit more than Ant Farm did, but I don't believe it's a really Walt worthy show. So I'm gonna put it ahead of Ant Farm a little bit. That's fair enough to me. Uh, next up, animated show we have Fish Hooks. This show follows the adventures of three fish named Oscar, B, Milo. Were those their names? I believe so. I don't know through their adventures in aquatic high school and they're and they basically live in an, in like a pet store aquarium or whatever still their adventures through high school what is it with disney channel and adventures through high school do i understand it no it didn't rise up to the standards of ant farmer dog with a blog for me so i think i'm just gonna put it at meh that's fair enough for me next up oh wouldn't you know Another show centered around someone's adventures through high school and life with her friends. We have Girl Meets World. This is starting to become a used topic already. But Girl Meets World, spinoff of the show Boy Meets World, basically sort of continues the story of young Cory. But now he is much older, married to Topanga. They have a daughter. And this show follows the daughter's path through life and going into the world. I couldn't make this up if I wanted to. Girl Meets World, this was a show that wrapped me in real quickly. You know what? Screw it. It's Walt worthy. 
it is Walt worthy to me, and we'll keep it that way. Next up we have a quote unquote older Disney show. By older, I consider anything that started maybe two, 2011, 2012 and earlier, if it started there. That's what I consider older. We have Good Luck Charlie, follows the adventures of the Duncan family. Father, Bob Duncan. Mother, Amy Duncan. Oldest son, PJ Duncan. You'll have to watch to figure out what PJ stands for. Oldest daughter, Teddy Duncan. Youngest son, Gabe Duncan. And the widow, 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 widow baby that just came into the world nine months ago, Charlie Duncan. And then later on in the show, they have a son named Toby Duncan. Overall, this show was good. I believe it was a rise to the standards of Ant-Man. Ant-Man? That's not the show. It rises to the standards of Ant Farm and Dog with a Blog. So I think I'm going to have to put it in Watchable. That's just my opinion. Yes. One of the greatest shows in Disney history. Motherfuckers. We have Gravity Fucking Falls show with a great mystery element and i love it i'm actually i'm actually like continuously binge watching it i don't know why but the show really wrapped me in like the mystery aspect like so many things like there were so many hidden things too and i love it like the minute i finish the series on the on streaming i go and start it over again that's how wrapped into the show i've become and no, I'm not making this shit up. Gravity Falls, there's no discussing it. You are a god tia! Next up, we have an older Disney Channel show. We have Hannah Montana, following the adventures of Miley Stewart, played by Miley Cyrus. Wow, there's no coincidences in names at all. Her father was a famous artist named Robbie Ray Stewart. Huh, and who was he played by? Oh yeah, her actual father, Billy Ray Cyrus. No comparison in names there either. She basically lives a double life as a normal kid and a superstar. Kind of like how I'm doing right now. And I'm really comparing myself to Hannah Montana. I have sunk so low. Hannah Montana, it could never wrap me in as much as any of the other shows could have. I think even Fish Hooks wrap me in more. So, but still, it's, it's not bad enough to be canceled. I am going to put it in meh. I'll keep it there. Next we have a newer show called I Didn't Do It. I couldn't even remember what that show was really about. Follow the tale of five friends. That's all I really remember. Because it didn't really have that much of an impact on me. That motherfucker a canceled show. Now, hey, we're going up to the Big Apple. We're going to New York with Jesse. This was a show that Debbie Ryan I believe starred in after Sweet Life on Deck and this one it I shouldn't have to explain this one if you know what Jesse is you are a god and for that Jesse is a god tier show in fact I think I have to put Austin Alley behind both of them because they're two great shows to me Gravity Falls is gonna be one of the greatest Disney Channel shows to me of all time you will never change my mind I actually don't remember if these guys started on Disney or if they were already a group before that. But we have the Disney Channel show Jonas. I wonder what that could possibly be themed around. Oh yeah, the Jonas Brothers. Go through their adventures on how to manage life as superstars as well as life through, you guessed it, high school. Every single Disney Channel show, I swear to God. Freaking high school. It was definitely an older show. Do I remember much about it? No, I know that it wrapped me in a lot. So the fact that it was able to wrap me in, I have to put it in watchable. Despite the fact I don't remember too much about it. Next up, newer show, we have Casey Undercover. Starring Zendaya after the show, uh, fucking Shake It Up. Basically, it's a normal family living in a normal neighborhood, living a really normal life. Until the daughter finds out that her fucking parents are spies. So then guess what? She becomes a spy too. And eventually the son figures out he becomes a spy. And then they, for some reason, get a robotic daughter. Do I understand it? No, I don't. I will say, this show didn't really wrap me in as much. I will. It's still a good show. But it didn't, it didn't wrap me in as much. 
I still believe it's a watchable one. Uh, great. Next up we have Lab Rats. I, I'm not even enthused enough to give this a good, like... Ah, oh, look! It's a great show! Lab Rats. I don't really know what to tell you about this show. I couldn't even remember the concept. I'm so, I'm sorry, Lab Rats. Sorry! We have Lilo and Stitch, the series next. You know, I'm not going to bother explaining the series because, you know what? If you don't know it, you uh, you better go watch it because you don't deserve to know it. What? I, I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. Point is, Lilo and Stitch got to your show. No, wait, what were they? Don't change my mind. I'm having a stroke. Newer show, we have Liv and Maddie. This one couldn't really wrap me in as much. It's about twins played by the same person. I wonder where I've heard that from before. Oh yeah. This show follows twins, Liv and Maddie, their older brother Joey, coincidentally played by Joey Bragg. Coincidence? I don't know. And their younger brother Parker through their adventures of, you guessed it, high school. I swear. This show, like other than I didn't do it in Lab Rats, I was able to watch it. But it still wasn't really as good as the shows in Watchable. So I'm going to put it in the lead I'm gonna put it in the lead of meh. That's just my opinion. Next up we have doom 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 shake it up. We're gonna put some auto-tune on that so it sounds a bit better. This show centers around two teens named Rocky and Cece as they audition to get on their favorite show ever called Shake It Up Chicago. I gotta be very careful about that Chicago part. They make it on the show, and there are many parts where they're like all dancing and such, but mostly it applies. The show is about like their outer life outside of the sh outside of the show, Shake It Up Chicago. So really, why is it called Shake It Up if Shake It Up Chicago is a minute thing? I don't know. What is? I was actually able to watch it. So we'll put that ahead of Good Luck Charlie. Next up. Another older Disney show that I personally love. We have Sunny with a Chance. Tales about a girl who goes from her hometown in Wisconsin all the way to LA to be on this show called So Random. I believe it's like a sketch comedy show. The series Sunny with a Chance did so good. It actually had a spinoff where it was the actual actual show So Random. How long the how long the show So Random lasted? I don't remember. Point, but the point is, Sunny with a Chance, that was a pretty good show. You know what? Screw it. It's a god tier show to me. Moving on with a classic Disney Channel show. The freaking Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. If you do not know this show, you are too young to live. Wait, what? Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Follows the adventures of two twins named Zach and Cody, played by Dylan and Cole Sprouse. And you know what? Again, I'm not going to explain. Because you should already know what this show is. And the fact that you don't is sickening. Sway Life of Zach and Cody. You are God tier. No doubt about that in my mind. Next we have its... I don't know if it's a spin-off series or a continuation series. But next we have Sweet Life on Deck which continues the adventures of twins Zack and Cody as they attend a high school. There it is again. They attend a high school on this cruise ship called Seven Seas High. Again, this was a good show, and if you don't know about it, go watch it. I am imploring you. But still, it can never rise to the standards of the original, so Sweet Life on Deck is a Walt Worthy show. I'll leave it at that. And next, we have one of the greatest shows ever, Wizards of Waverly Place! If you don't know this show, if you don't know this show, I refuse to acknowledge your existence. I refuse. I simply refuse. A family of wizards who live on a street called Waverly Place, they learn spells of magic as if there are any other spells, and it also follows some of their adventures through Oh no, you guessed it, high school. I swear, almost every single show involves them, involves their adventures through high school in one way or another. I swear, I swear that's Disney's thing now. I don't get it. You're never gonna change my mind about this decision. 
God tier. No doubt about that in my mind. Well, it looks like these are the standings for the Disney shows. I've been Flo's MG. This has been Ranking Disney Channel Shows, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye! Bitch, I ain't your hero. Don't call me a savior. Think I'm out of control, eh? That's just my behavior. I'm bringing the house down. Major devastation. You don't gotta worry, cause it don't matter. I'm anti-social.